Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Ryan, and in this video, we are going to see and test if the theory that you can get a special island every time you do one simple trick actually works. So for those of you that may not be familiar with the rumor that is going around, it is that by talking to Orville and reacting in a certain way at the airport, you can actually get it to where you can get a special island every time you use a Nook Mouse ticket. I know that most people are familiar with Tarantula Island and Money Rock Island, but the other rare islands I'm talking about would be like Bamboo Island, Hybrid Flower Island. There's also like Emperor Butterfly Island. And I guess you can kind of consider the island that contains fruit that isn't native to your island as kind of a rare island but even then that's not really that rare compared to what you would want to get so let's go ahead and test it right now the trick i guess is to talk to orville after you get done talking to him without flying anywhere you're going to spam the joy reaction to him until he does the joy reaction back to you so let's go ahead and try that right now we're going to talk to him uh, i'm good thanks and we are going to do the joy reaction and for this one he just smiles so no reaction there we're going to try it again Okay, so we just got the draw reaction from Orville. Now let's go ahead and try to fly to a mystery island and see if it works. Now, we are going to do this twice in a row in the off chance that this actually is a rare island. What I don't want to do is I don't want this to actually be a rare island and be like, oh my god, it works. We always have to try it multiple times for science. So here we go. If we don't get a rare island, then we immediately know that this trick does not work every single time and is purely theoretical. It's just a myth. It was pure coincidence. But if it does work, we need to try it one more time to confirm that it can happen. We might have to try it a third time if we get it again, to be completely honest with you, but we'll see. If we have to do this three times in a row and they're all rare islands, that would be crazy. I don't see any cliffs immediately, which is a good sign. Maybe. No. No way, dude. So we are on Money Rock Island, which for those of you that aren't familiar, there is a center island here in the middle of the island that contains rocks that contain nothing but bells. And my shovel is broken, so I'm going to go buy one really quick. This has to be coincidence. This has to be a coincidence. There's no way. By the way, for those who have never been to Money Rock Island before, the only way to get to the center is to eat a piece of fruit destroy the rock that's at the northernmost part of the island, and then use your uh, vaulting pole to get over it. I mean, I guess I'm just going to go through the motion of getting all the bells out of this island as I can, and then we're going to have to try this again. So once I get all this money, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I guess that, that'll do it. Let me just pick up all this money and then we'll uh, we'll give this another shot, see if it actually works. Now, as I said earlier, if we do this a second time, we will have to do this a third time to verify. What we're trying to verify is that it works every single time. The moment it doesn't work, the theory is broken. But if this works again, we're gonna have to try it a third time again to see if it works, at which point I run out of Nook Mouse tickets for now and I could buy more, but we'll see. Hopefully, maybe it won't have to go any further than this. Here we go, let's try it again. Joy reaction, immediately got it. I'm gonna let it play through. Here we go, if it works again. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be crazy. So that tulip looks white, so it's not a hybrid flower island. I can see a cherry in the corner as well, so it's not a secondary fruit island. This island in particular is known as Large Pond Island. You can get a lot of koi fish from this island. However, there is an event going on as the timing in this video that makes this island not very good to be at right now. And there's a koi fish. But for those of you that are watching as this video is being posted, as you all are well aware, there is an event going on right now involving Easter where most everything has been replaced with eggs. I'm honestly not going to spend much time on this island. There are some people who will say that this island is considered somewhat rare and unlike all the normal islands. See, there you go. It's an Easter egg. What I don't want to do is I don't want to keep fishing up Easter eggs, so I'm not even going to continue with this island. The biggest thing I want to know is, does this work? Here we go. So we're going to talk to him again. Do the joy reaction. He gives us a smile. Let's do it again. Just another smile. One more time. There's the joy reaction right there. I'm going to let it play out. This may or may not be the moment of truth. If we get another rare island or more rare than what we just got, there's a good chance it works. If you guys want to try it, let me know what your guys' results are. At this point, I've seen varying responses, but people are pretty confident that this works. If we get another rare island here like Tarantula or Money Island again, I'm going to be leaning on that side to say that this might actually be a thing. So I'm seeing a bunch of pairs, which immediately means that this is Secondary Fruit Island, which is not a rare island, 
but it is not what a lot of people would consider a normal island. You can say for the most part that this is considered like a rare island. There are a lot of people who would get this island and not consider it rare. Me personally, I'm more in the camp that this is not necessarily rare, but it's definitely one of the better islands to get just because you can sell all of these fruits for a pretty decent amount. I think we have to try the theory out one more time and see if it works. We have to know. I'm going to finish collecting up all these fruits. We'll buy another Nook Miles ticket and we'll, we'll try it again. Okay, 35,000. See, not a bad one, I would say. So it's definitely more productive than some of the other islands you could potentially get, but it's not as productive as some of the islands that you could potentially get either. Maybe this video isn't, can you get a rare island every time? Maybe the video is how to prevent getting normal islands every single time. Maybe that's what this video is. Making our way back to the airport, and there are a few instances where I'm going to call this a success. There's a few islands I want to see right now. I want to either see Hybrid Flower Island, Tarantula Island, or Money Rock Island again. Any other island, yes, is kind of rare, but to be honest with you, for most people, I would say that the three islands I just mentioned are probably the ones that people are really thinking of when they think of rare islands. There's the joy reaction. Hybrid Flower Island, Tarantula Island, or Money Rock Island. You give me any one of those three islands, and I'm going to be 90% sure that this works. Is this Tarantula Island? No way. It's not. Okay, it's Spiral Island. Okay. <laughs> Spiral Island generally has one fossil on it that you can get, and it's usually somewhere in the middle here. I think it's this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just chalk this island up to a not-so-rare island. I was thinking it was gonna be Tarantula Island, just from how it looked the moment we got here. I was really hyped that it would be, and to find out that it's Spiral Island is actually kind of... <laughs> it's actually kind of upsetting. So, to sum up, I will say that each island had something going for it. We obviously started off with Money Rock Island, and then we got the Fruit Island. Then it was the Pond Island, where you can generally catch koi fish but because of the event going on was probably going to be more easter eggs than anything and then spiral island so for anybody wondering if this theory actually pans out for me personally not really i can see how some people could make a case that well they're not normal islands so as i joked about earlier maybe this only works to not spawn normal islands maybe this trick only works to make it so that the island you spawn has some sort of niche to it whatsoever whether that be spawning fossils or spawning other fruit that you can can't grow naturally on your island, I don't know. But for me personally, I consider the rare islands to be the Tarantula Island, the Money Bell Island, the Bamboo Island even, and just slightly the Fruit Island, only because like I showed you, you can make a pretty decent profit from that. So yeah, there you go. I hope this video was helpful to somebody who was either looking it up to see if it actually works, or if people are looking up tricks to try and get special islands all the time, just showing that, you know, this doesn't really work if your definition of special island is anything like I'd mentioned before. If you guys have any other theories you've heard about or would like to test out, by all means, leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd love to try them out and show you guys whether or not they actually work. As always, be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed. Also, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Animal Crossing New Horizons videos in the future. I'm also going to plug that I stream this game every Saturday and Sunday morning and Wednesday evening over on twitch.tv slash RyanFTW. Go ahead and give me a follow on there. We can hang out and play Animal Crossing together. It's a fun time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it very much and have a great day.